G'day everyone, Graham here. Climate Gate. Now, Copenhagen is on and they want to decide how much to tax the population of the planet because the planet is warming up and they're trying to scare people to say it's CO2. Now, in fact, in reality, it's methane that warms the planet up faster than CO2. But they're scaring us, right? So, Climate Gate. A group of hackers decided to crack into the computers at the Climate Research Unit at the University of East Anglia in Britain. Now, what they found was lots of emails and documents between scientists that are researching climate change. Now, these emails state that the scientists were fudging the figures. They were changing the data that says that there's a correlation between CO2 and the warming of the planet. And in fact, the data that they were changing, the real data, says that the planet is not warming up because of CO2. They lied. They lied. But this isn't in the mainstream media very much. But it soon will be because people like you and me are talking about it. So what does this really mean? They got these emails. The scientists lied about it. They lied about the data. They falsified data, which you aren't supposed to do. There should be more media about this. So really, what do you think about climate change? Is it a naturally occurring system where humans have nothing at all? no influence at all or do humans only have a small influence now I was watching a video the other day saying that if humans did have an influence on global warming the gas that would be the main gas is methane now if they're serious they will get rid of the farming of pigs and cows that's what I was saying that was producing a lot of gas for greenhouse gases and warming up the environment. But there's money to be made in this. You see, the UN and the World Bank want to work together to tax the population of the Earth. And they want to rule the Earth, the UN and the World Bank. It's part of this new world order thing. And then they want to dictate how people run their lives, what you can consume in your life, how many children you can have, whether to live or die. For instance, they don't want to save the starving people in Africa because they use resources. If they use resources, they will use too much CO2 and warm up the planet. Miles let them die, right? Well, that's their theory. And it's all a bit of a con. I believe they're conning us. So, as a person on this planet, we should research this more and find out for ourselves. For me, I think that humans only have a very small impact on this planet, but we're being conned. So, what do you believe? Are humans responsible for changes in our, in our climate? And if they are, to what degree? Is it great or is it small? I would like to know because I think we're being conned. Do you think we're being conned? It's worth thinking about. Anyway, take care my friends. Stay safe. Bye for now. Write me, comment